All right, today we will put some graffiti on a wall with the help of a planar tracker. Here is a clip of a woman running around a corner, we will track the wall and put graffiti on it. Go to the Fusion page, with the media in node selected, press Shift space, and add a planar tracker after the media in node. Select the tracker node, make sure the playhead is at the beginning. Draw a simple closed polygon to define the tracking pattern on the wall. Click the Set button in the inspector to set the current frame as reference. Click the Track to End button to start the tracking. Play the clip when tracking is complete. We can see the tracking is lost as she runs across the area being tracked. To fix this, we add a polygon mask to the editor, go to the frame where the tracking pattern is covered the most. In this demo, we set it to frame 179. Draw a closed shape that surrounds the head and body. Connect it to the tracker's occlusion mask input. Move playhead to frame 0, with the planar tracker selected, press the set button in the inspector, and click OK to confirm deleting existing tracking data. Click the track to end button to start the tracking. This time the result was good. You can adjust the shape of the occlusion mask or the tracking pattern until the best tracking result is achieved. Next we add a text node to the editor, switch to dual viewer mode, and bring the text node into the left viewer. Adjust text properties to the look and feel you like. In this demo I used a free font I got from the internet. I also added a white shading around the text. Please note that the thickness slider max value is 0.1 by default, we need to enter bigger values in the field if required. Now we have the graffiti text ready for applying tracking data. Select the tracker, change the operation mode to corner pin, connect the text to the tracker's corner pin input. Holding the ALT key while connecting the nodes will pop up the list of available inputs for selection. With the tracker node selected, Drag the box corners to the place where we want to put the text on. Play the clip, the text is now sticking to the wall and moves along with the wall. We can also achieve this using the track mode to do a match move. Create a planar transform node with the tracking data and merge the text with the tracker node through this transform node. I prefer the corner pin mode in this case because it's easy to adjust the text perspective and position by simply dragging the four corners. It seems we are done putting graffiti on the wall, but when she runs across the text area, the text pops out, which ruins the scene. Fixing this will require some patience. Copy and paste an instance of the media in node. Drag its output to the tracker's output, make sure the tracker is connected as the background of the merge node. Move the playhead to a frame where the text is overlapping the most. Add a polygon mask to this new media instance. Invert the mask selection. Draw a shape along the head and body. Once the shape is closed, uncheck the invert option to hide the overlapped part of the graffiti word. Enable keyframes for the center position of the mask. This is critical, as we will animate the mask with not only the shape, but also its position. If Match Move was used for applying Tracking Transform, we can use the mask on the text directly without need of a new media instance. With the Corner Pin mode, the mask will be transformed with the text, and it would be difficult to make adjustments visually. Move Playhead to the next frame, drag the center point to match the head and body, adjust the shape points if needed to get the best fit. Repeat this step until we complete all overlapped frames. After we complete the mask shape animation, adjust the soft edge to smooth the edge in between. Select a frame before the overlapping starts and move the mask shape out of screen to avoid mask effect on the text. Do the same after the overlapping stops. I think this looks good now. If you want to use your own drawing for the graffiti, 
you can replace the text node with a paint node on a transparent background and draw the word yourself. Okay, that's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.